more than 11 billion cosmetics and personal care products are purchased each year in the United States. These products that we use and enjoy every day have become an important part of our lives. Yet most of us are unaware of the efforts behind the scenes to make them safe and reliable. Hello, I'm Valerie Lynn. Join us for CosmeticsInfo.org's new video series as we talk to the experts and get an inside look at the cosmetic industry and the science of safety. I first spoke with Terry Jacks, a 30-year veteran R&D scientist. Mr. Jacks, tell us about your approach to making safe products. Consumer safety is a top priority of cosmetics and personal care products manufacturers. Right at the initial product concept, we begin with a thorough knowledge of each of the ingredients to be used and their safety. That's our starting point. If we're not sure an ingredient is safe, we don't use it. A core element of this commitment to safe ingredients is the Cosmetic Ingredient Review Expert Panel, or CIR. CIR was formed in 1976 as a collaborative effort between the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and scientific experts at cosmetic companies. It's comprised of a group of independent, world-renowned scientists and physicians who've met regularly for more than 30 years to evaluate the safety of individual cosmetic ingredients. The more than 1,300 ingredients they've reviewed to date represent the majority of ingredients used in cosmetic and personal care products today. Our scientists use the extensive scientific reviews done by CIR as well as information and data from scientific literature and government sources. This is just the beginning point of our safety assessment process. Each product is a combination of unique ingredients. Following a thorough review of the safety of each ingredient in a product formulation, we also assess the safety of each finished product. During a 10-hour shift in this 420,000 square foot facility, we make 35,000 trays of cheek color, 46,000 trays of eye color, 25,000 tubes of lipstick, 100,000 bottles of body wash and lotion, 66,000 tubes of foundation, 37,000 bottles of sunscreen, and other solutions. People think our daily production numbers are impressive, but what's even more significant is that every product that leaves this facility is backed by a thorough scientific safety assessment. No product is released for marketing unless we are confident it is safe. In an average year, this company performs more than 1,000 stability studies, more than 100,000 analytical measurements, and over 300,000 tests on ingredients and finished goods, all to ensure that they're safe and effective. This is the cutting edge of science. For example, we are using sophisticated techniques like cell culture technology, so advanced, in fact, that some of our industry's knowledge has contributed to the latest in medical procedures, such as cornea replacement. Personal care products companies strive to use the most current science and innovative technology to make sure their products are safe. For example, leading manufacturers combine toxicology and new genome research, giving them the ability to look into cells and cell behavior. Computer modeling allows scientists to simulate thousands of theoretical outcomes, something that was previously unimaginable in the lab and manufacturers are developing and using the latest single cell cultures and reconstructed skin technology as alternatives to animal testing. All of these efforts require experts with many different skills, physicians, chemists, toxicologists, and microbiologists evaluate and improve the safety of products before they go to market. Dr. January is a toxicologist who focuses on product safety. In addition to some of the best laboratory scientists, we also work closely with board certified dermatologists, ophthalmologists, and other medical experts, particularly in trials to examine the effects of using these products over time. I spoke with Dr. Paul Feng, a research scientist with more than 30 years of experience in the cosmetics industry, about some of the key steps involved in product safety. Dr. Feng, can you describe the factors involved in determining product safety? We look at a number of key factors to determine product safety, including the latest research on an ingredient, the concentration used, and the ingredient's degree of chemical purity and stability. We look at these ingredients in a real-world context as they are actually used. The average consumer uses multiple cosmetic and personal care products each day, and we go to great lengths to examine all of these uses in our research. The cosmetics industry dedicates an incredible amount of resources to the safety process and to its scientific methods. 
they often go beyond existing regulations to deliver safe and effective products. Laura Hastings is a chemist with over 25 years of experience in this industry. The Analytical Chemistry Lab is responsible for determining that all cosmetic ingredients meet strict specifications. State-of-the-art technology, such as high-pressure liquid chromatography equipment, is used here to assure the purity of our ingredients and finished products. Liquid chromatographs are used to confirm the appropriate levels of active ingredients, such as sunscreen blocking agents. In the microbiology lab, we exhaustively test against contamination. One of our highest priorities is the protection of our products from microbiological contamination during its useful life by consumers. We also employ testing that demonstrates that the preservative system we use will remain effective for the product's useful lifetime. Our scientific work doesn't end when a product reaches the shelves. We continually and actively monitor any unanticipated problems consumers may have, and we investigate and address them immediately. And in the unusual case that a consumer experiences a serious and unexpected adverse event from using the product, we report it to the FDA. This reporting practice is consistent with our industry's consumer commitment code. Cosmetic companies invest millions of dollars and thousands of research hours to develop and deliver products that meet consumer needs. We expect safe, quality products, and these companies continually work to earn and keep our trust. I'm Valerie Lynn, and thanks for joining us. Be sure to visit CosmeticsInfo.org for up-to-date, accurate information about cosmetic and personal care products and their ingredients.